Boom! What is up, Wanderers? Welcome back for another One Take Bag Review. Got something cool for you today. We are going to be reviewing the Nike Utility Elite Backpack. Let's get started. All right, so you know what we do here. We do a full walkthrough of the bag, inside, outside, and then we talk about two things we love about the bag, two things eh, not so much, and an overall recommendation. Should you buy this bag? Let's get started. All right, so exterior walkthrough, you can start right away by looking at, this is a pretty sweet colorway. So you may have seen this bag before in tan or uh, drab or black or gray. Um, this is their newest colorway. It's available in the app right now from Nike and it's kind of an alligator pattern, they called it. It looks camo to me with the drab uh, olive and um, some light accents on the side as well. So let's do the exterior walkthrough first and then we'll start talking about pockets and there are obviously a lot of pockets to talk about on this bag. Okay, so on the front, this is why it's called the Utility Elite Backpack. They've got another one of these bags that has less pockets. Uh, this is definitely the better of the two bags from Nike. They've got some uh, pretty impressive bags lately. I think they're upping their bag game, um, and I think this is the best that they've produced. Um, so, uh, it's a 32 liter backpack as advertised, um, which is a, a great amount of size. Um, on the outside, you have one, two, three, four pockets on the front with a stretchy pocket on the front of this pocket, um, plus a side pocket, which is expandable to put bigger uh, loads in or water bottles. I've used it for my power bank. You have on this side some hook and loop for morale patches. Um, got my stormtrooper there. Uh, on this side, you have a mesh water bottle pocket. I've put a, a, a pretty good size uh, water bottle in there. A lot of stretch to it. Um, you could put a full Nalgene in there if you wanted to. You've got a grab handle on the side, a grab handle on the top, on the back, tons of cushioning. Um, you've got two cushions here with an air channel in between. Then you've got uh, air cushion straps, uh, which are not just a gimmick. They're very comfortable. Uh, you've got a good harness here um, with space in between, which is always a win for me instead of seeing kind of the two straps come to a point in a V, which really hurts my neck. Um, so there's a lot to like on the exterior of this bag. Let's start talking pockets. So first pocket, you've got this big kind of long pocket that zips from the side, three quarters open. I've just got some um, headbands in there and some pins. Um, didn't really have a use for that pocket yet. Um, and I'll discover why. I, I originally thought I was gonna put my uh, camera gear in there, but I came up with an alternate plan that I liked even better. Uh, on the front, we've got some mass, and then we've got a big pocket that I'm using for power cords and power banks. This little pocket I'm using for a bit of a first aid kit. Up top here, I've got my multi-tool in that pocket, so, that's how I'm using those front pockets at this point. Um, probably we'll come up with different uses as we go. I should flip around to the back now and say, laptop compartment is on the side. This is not a dual entry. This is the laptop compartment. It's on the back here. This is a 15 inch laptop. No issues sliding into this pocket, okay? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if a 17 inch would fit in here and I don't have one to test, so I apologize for that. Um, and then you have up top a drop pocket. This is felt lined if you wanted to put some stuff in there. I've got a pocket knife in there. I've got AirPods, just little knickknacks. Boom. Uh, all right. So that's the exterior of the bag. Let's get into the main compartment. It zips full clamshell style all the way open, all the way. So you can see what's going on in here. You've got a bottom compartment that is designed for shoes. So, you know, Nike is an athletic good company. And so this bag is built out for gym clothes and shoes down here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to the gym, sorry. Um, I am going to, my exercise is going to be hiking, going on trails, walking around cities. That's what I like to do. Um, so I need this bag prepped up for that. I should also say, by the way, 
tiny little pocket in here for little valuables and knickknacks, kind of a hidden pocket right there. Pretty neat, I didn't even see that advertised. You have a stretchy mesh section here that is not subdivided, it's the whole front panel um, that you could put dirty clothes down into, um, conceivably even a tablet down into that. What I've decided to do with the shoe compartment is put in an entire fanny pack slash crossbody bag. It just slides right in. So you can pick your brand. This is the Mountain Smith, um, and I've got a whole entire review of why this is my favorite fanny pack. Um, but I just, I love that. Look, toss it right in, modular, zip it up. Now I can leave this bag in the car or in the truck and take the fanny pack out. So you could get a Nike one if you wanted to, if you wanted to match up, but that's how I've decided to use this bag and I think it's gonna work out well. This whole top section then becomes all about, you know, jacket, anything else I'm tossing in the bag and still tons of space and room in this bag. So uh, that's the walkthrough of the bag. Now let's talk about, you know, what we like about this bag first. So I think first off, what we like about this bag is the organization. Um, I loaded this thing up and it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's really well distributed weight wise. It stands up, all the weight being in the bottom um, and the laptop compo component being on the back of the bag. It all works well balance wise and you can just toss this bag down and laptops protected and the whole bag stands up on its own. Uh, I love that. So the number of pockets is pretty amazing. I love the layout of the pockets, pretty unique. Um, my favorite kinds of bags have, I know people want this kind of slick look on the outside um, and all the storage on the interior. I like it the reverse. I like to see my storage. I like to be able to access my pockets without opening the main compartment of the bag. Um, Harvest Label has a a new backpack that has this kind of style called the Super Hercules. It's like $500, um, but I'm in love with this kind of stuff. So love how they've organized this. It's a cool look, I think. It's pretty unique. Um, that's the first thing I love about this bag. The second thing I love about this bag is the back. Um, so this is one of the most comfortable backpacks that I've worn. Um, it, it is, these air bubble straps are incredibly comfortable. They're comfortable on your shoulders and also they're comfortable just to grab onto while you're kind of trucking around the city if you don't use the chest strap. And then the uh, foam is very highly effective um, in terms of breathability. So love that. I also didn't mention there's attachment points on the side of the bag if you want to clip things onto the bag. And those attachment points run down both sides of the bag only interrupted by the grab handle. Um, so those are the two things I love about this bag. I I should also say I love the colorway, but I already covered that. Um, two things that I don't love about this bag. Man, um, so a couple of things that I think fall short. The first one is um, a missed opportunity with materials. Uh, the pockets on the exterior, while I love the functionality, um, the materials feel a little bit cheap. Um, so it's nylon um, and they don't feel as robust as the rest of the bag. The rest of the bag materials are really nice. Um, the grab handles are great. The back, as I mentioned, is wonderful. These front pockets, they just feel flimsy. And I'd have, I'd have paid you know 10 or 12 bucks more for them to line these pockets and uh, build them out a little bit more and make them feel a little bit more premium. So I think that's a miss. Um, and we're going to uh, stay with pockets, but we're gonna move to the interior for, uh, I think, miss number two for this bag. Okay, miss number two is this front pocket. So this whole entire front panel is massive, massive. And you have on the front um, so many pockets going on. On the interior, you just got one really flappy net. And I get it, it's probably like for dirty socks and if I'm like going and playing pickup basketball, this probably makes a ton of sense to me. I'm not, um, so it doesn't. And I'd rather have two or three compartments that zip close. Um, and I'd also like it to um, not unzip all the way to give a little bit more rigid structure or at least have uh, a snap closure right here that would prevent the zip all the way. Um, 
because once this is loaded out and this flops all the way down, you know, I'm just not one who's constantly fulls, full clamshelling my bag um, like this. But that being said, I found myself loving the functionality of a um, little slide-in pocket here. It reminds me of the Low Pro that I've done a review on that has kind of the, the garage for the tech bag. Um, so, all right, let's talk review. Should you buy this bag? Well, first off, if you're looking for a gym bag, I don't know that you're gonna do better than this. I really think that this excels at what it's actually designed for. Um, my carries, as you guys know, are all tech-based. So, you know, is it a great tech bag? Is it an everyday bag? Could it be a travel bag? I think so. I think there's a, enough utility, it's in the name, right? There's enough utility in this bag that it can serve just about any purpose that you actually want or need it to serve. Um, so I'm thrilled with it. I think it's a good purchase. It's about $100 um, on, the, on the Nike app right now. You can sometimes get them a little bit cheaper than that used, um, but I particularly like this colorway. So for $100 to $110, is this a buy? Yeah, I recommend it. I think it's a good bag, uh, and especially if you're looking for a gym bag. All right, everybody, I hope you liked this review. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll keep doing bag reviews on uh, bags you want to know about. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.